Now in this lesson we do some work on square and cubic measures. Now let's say we were asked to complete firstly 5 square meters equals how many square centimeters? Well a lot of people would say that since there are 100 centimeters make up a meter then if we have 5 square meters we'll probably come up with 500 centimeters squared. Well what do you think? Well no matter what you think the answer is wrong. Okay let's see why. When we talk about a square meter, that actually means one meter by one meter. Okay, that is what a square meter is. But in terms of square centimeters, right, let's do a conversion. We know that one meter is 100 centimeters in length, so the other length is also 100 centimeters. And in terms of area, one square meter then equals length times breadth which is 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters works out to be that one square meter is in fact 10,000 square centimeters. So back to that question, five square meters, well every square meter is 10,000 square centimeters so we'll end up getting 50,000 square centimeters. So you can see it's a lot different from what a lot of people would have written as being 500. A similar idea occurs when we have one kilometer squared. Well that is one kilometer by one kilometer but in terms of meters we can write that as a thousand meters long a thousand meters wide so one kilometer squared length times breadth a thousand meters times a thousand meters and that works out to be one million square meters. So you can see then if we need to convert between particular area measures we'll need a little diagram like that firstly to help us understand what is the conversion factor. Now what about volume now? One cubic meter and let's say we were converting to cubic centimeters. Well one cubic meter is one meter by one meter by one meter. Now in terms of cubic centimeters we write down the lengths in centimeters so one cubic meter volume equals length times breadth times height so let's multiply the 100 centimeters by the 100 centimeters by the 100 centimeters again and when we calculate that that we get that one cubic meter equals one million cubic centimeters. Let's look at some examples now. We need to complete 4.8 kilometers squared equals how many meters squared? Well, kilometers squared, draw out a little diagram. Okay, it's essential that you're very good at drawing these little diagrams. One kilometer by one kilometer. We're dealing with square meters, so, so let's write that as a thousand meters by a thousand meters. So, one kilometer squared, let's do the multiplication, we get a million square meters. So, changing from kilometer squared to meter squared, we're going to multiply by one million, and 4.8 times a million is 4,800,000. Our second example here, we need to complete 600,000 cubic centimeters equals how many cubic meters? Well, we're dealing with cubic meters, so let's start off with a little diagram. One meter by one meter by one meter, and we're changing it to cubic centimeters. So let's replace that with 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters. So one cubic meter equals, okay, let's multiply that out. We come up with one million cubic centimeters. Now, so we're changing centimeters cubed to meters cubed, okay, changing something smaller to something bigger. So we're going to divide. We'll divide by that one million. And when we do the division, we get 0 0.6. So our answer there is that 600,000 cubic centimeters is 0 0.6 of a cubic meter. Our third and final example this lesson. A concrete path is 5.5 meters long, 900 millimeters wide and 100 millimeters thick. We need to calculate the volume of concrete required in cubic meters to build the path. Now if we look at our three measures there, we must convert all the units to the same measure. In other words, let's convert them all to meters. Okay, the reason being is because the question is asking us how much is required in cubic meters. So the first one there, the length 5.5 meters, already in meters. 
900 millimeters wide. Okay, the width 900 millimeters. We need to convert that to meters by dividing by a thousand. In a similar way, the height 100 millimeters need to convert that to meters by dividing by a thousand. So the volume then, we have our three measures. So we multiply the length by the width by the height, and that calculates to be 0 0.495 cubic meters. Fantastic. Well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your questions.